So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take the hub off a L322 uh, steering knuckle. Um, this is a knuckle I've got off eBay, which I'm going to be restoring. Uh, hopefully when the bearing's out and the hub's off, it will look something like this. This is the uh, passenger side, which is all hammerited, eight year protection. There's a new bearing in there. And yeah, so the reason why I'm doing it this way instead of just taking the old ones off the car is just time, really. Um, it's a lot quicker if all this is done ahead of time, new ball joint, and then it can just get bolted to the car basically. Um, but yeah, this has got, it's got a lot of play in it. Taking the ball joint out. Clean these nuts up, but I think I'm gonna be changing them to stainless steel anyway, just to aid the age of it. So here is the press. It's a 20 ton press. Uh, last time I did one of these, it took about 10 tons of pressure to push the bearing out. And that's ready for the hub to come out. So let's get pumping. So as you can see, I've now put on the brand new dust shields because the old ones are all rotted and I've replaced the bolts with stainless steel hardware, including the ABS one, just so it's for future reference, it's easier to take out. Yeah, so now it's time to paint this. We're just going to push this wheel bearing into the hub now. So that's the new actual hub in. Um, I did have a problem. Um, I'll show you. So the first time I used uh, the wheel bearing, uh, it's the first time I've done this, so it's just a learning curve. Um, basically used the wrong thing for this and actually bent the lip. So that one ripped that off. And then the second time I got the wheel bearing in the hub and then went to push the actual hub in, and didn't support the wheel bearing and it actually pushed it out you can see from this picture and then third time lucky we did it right <laughs> so it's just a learning curve and uh, yeah so that's in the hub um these are the brake disc covers backing plates i've actually cut that there because they make them so you have to take this off but basically the hub out, the ring out, and then push, put that on and then put it all back together. And it's just like a faff, so it's just easier to cut it and slide it round like this. But yeah, that's all lined up. I'm going to sort this out with some t uh, paint. But yeah, the 20 ton press is actually going good. So that's the hubs all done. Got the second one done. That's all nice and smooth. That one's nice and smooth too. So yeah, uh, just a plate to put on, but um, that'll be getting done on the car just to make it a bit easier. So yeah, thanks for watching the video guys. And see you in the next one.